Hey guys, got the mail. Uh, Luke, this one's for you. Here you go, Tony. Thanks. You were up early this morning, mate? Yeah, I reckon. Think you can keep it down in the mornings? You know, some of us were trying to sleep in. Sorry, Lucas. It's a habit, I guess. I don't know. Oh my gosh. What is it, mate? You're never gonna believe this. Well, oh, come on, don't keep us in suspense. They wanna. They wanna publish my book. You're kidding, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, they said they read the first three chapters and they want me to sign a contract. They're even gonna give me an advance. Oh, congratulations, Lucas. I can't believe it. Well, I can, mate. I'll tell you what, this calls for a little celebration. It's my shout at the diner for Brecky. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't wait to take a squeeze at these new chapters of yours. Yeah, how about if and when the book is published? Uh... Oh, come on, mate. I can guarantee we are gonna see your book on the shelf in no time. Which is why we really should celebrate this deal. Look, Dad, I, I appreciate the thought, but I don't really think it's appropriate to be making a big deal of things, you know, because of Lisa. Okay, well, what about something quieter then? How about I see if we can get the Blacksland, go out in the bay and make a day of it? Come on, mate, you've got to focus on the positives in your life. That's how you move forward. Okay. What about you, mate? You in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, if it's okay with you. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just grab some juices and we can go. Okay. Hey, Drew. Look, um, we're heading out to the Blacksland today. You want to come? Oh, I kind of promised myself I'd look for a new job. Hey, mate. It's a uh, bit of a celebration. Oh, yes. Congratulations on the book deal, man. I, I kind of forgot. Nah, it's cool. I haven't really got my head around it yet either. <laughs> well, count me in. I'll just tell Mum. Tell me what? <clears throat> well, we're going to head out on the Blacksland to celebrate Luke's new bestseller. I mean, you're right, the job hunt can wait. Oh, I love to tag along. It's not every day I meet someone who gets published. Yeah, well, I've still got a long way to go. I'm not even finished. Well, I was uh, kind of looking forward to spending some time with Drew, if nobody minds. Oh, of course we don't mind. Oh, great. Have you organised any food yet? No, I haven't thought that far ahead, to be honest. OK, well, leave that to me. We'll meet you at the wharf. Sure. See you there in an hour. Perfect. See ya. See ya. So bad. Mm, how much is so? I cannot believe you've ever been on a boat before. Yeah, well, I bet you never sheared a sheep or plant a paddock. <laughs> no, and I don't really want to either. So nice to see you boys finally getting on. Let me guess, you've, uh, you've never been fishing before either? Okay, um... Well, it's it's all in the wrist. Just keep it relaxed and and put it back and just chuck it. Just keep it relaxed and flip. Bait's on. All right. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. You're a natural. Wow. Hope you're hungry. Yeah, you didn't have to go to quite so much trouble, though. Oh, would you prefer a couple of bags of chips and some stale pretzels? Ow, come <laughs> on. You only did that to you once. Lucky I wasn't there for the food. Lucky. What's wrong with you? I thought you'd be glad they're friends again. As long as that's all it is. <laughs> I don't want Mum screwing with Tony's head again. Yeah, he seems to be hating every minute of it. Such a beautiful way to spend an afternoon. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Mum? Hmm? Are you trying to get back with Tony? What? Where did that come from? Well, you just seemed a bit eager to get on the boat today and you know you weren't exactly invited. Sorry. <laughs> I've got nothing to worry about. Tony and I are just friends. The real reason I wanted to come on the boat today, as lame as it sounds, was to spend some time with you. 
You're only human, I guess. <laughs> Fun day, hey? Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. I can't help feeling a little... Guilty for being happy? At least would have been proud of you. That's if you sell a book. <laughs> hey, um, guys, I've got a bit of time before my shift. Anyone want a coffee? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so it's good. You up for that, Jeff? Oh, come on, you have to come. You're the only one who caught a fish. <laughs> yeah, sure. Nice one, fish dude. <laughs> what about you? You don't have to rush off, do you? Oh, I've always got time for a coffee. Is it just me or has all this sort of worked out pretty well? I don't think it could have worked out any better. <laughs> no, no, I take it all back. You were, you were completely right about going out today. I, I had fun. No, listen, I've got a great idea. How about we buy ourselves a little dinghy and do that up oh. together? <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, thank you. Thank you for today and all of last week. You've been great about Lisa. I don't know how I would have gotten through it without you. Well, just as long as you know, mate, I'm always there for you. I'll have a latte, thanks. Excuse me. Hey, um, Mum, if you're not busy tonight, um, do you want to go to the surf club and have that tiebreaker game? Yeah, I'd really like that. What is going on? What do you mean? You're being so clean with your mum, it's just not oh, right. Oh, right, you're hilarious, Taylor. Just admit it, you like hanging out with your mum. Will you give it a rest? I just want Mum to know who's boss when it comes to playing ball. Sure you do. Mm -hmm. His world is spiralling out of control. And as he hits rock bottom... Jeff! Will he take an innocent life with him? Home and Away continues weeknights at 7. And soon... Ah! On Home and Away... Trapped. But not alone.